Hey, what's up, Atlanta? This is Mike Newsom, your host for Independent Scoop. We're back off break uh, here at Mashan's. Remember, Mashan's restaurant, smoked meats and restaurants and seafood, and it's a lounge also. We're here at 1155 Virginia Avenue in Hayfield, Georgia, 3354 upstairs. We're just sitting here chilling, and we've got one of Atlanta's finest local filmmakers here. we got Rod Holliman here. He's sitting here with us. What's going on, Rod? Oh, everything's good. Everything's great. What you up to? What's going on with Finn? Uh, right now I'm working on a few different projects. I got a few documentaries in the works, so I can't really reveal the subject matter just yet. Oh, come on now. But, Atlanta's uh, going to get it. They got to get it first here on the independent school. Well, you know, you'll be the first to know when I'm, when I'm ready to release the new projects, but uh, right now I'm just kind of working on fine-tuning my distribution methods. I got uh, you know a few independent films and a whole spoken word uh, poetry DVD series. I'm getting ready to take worldwide distribution. So right now I'm just kind of fine-tuning the business side of it and just getting ready to let the rest of the world know what we've been doing. Okay. So what made you get into film, man? Really, uh, for me, I got into filmmaking because I really wanted to find a way to kind of tell our story. You know, I feel like, for the most part, we, we've seen a lot of movies about a lot of different subjects, but I think, for me personally, I wanted to be able to be the person behind the stories of, you know, just inspirational stories about real people. And I wanted to feel like you know, some of the things that went on in my neighborhood and in my community could be expressed. And I wanted people to see things the way I saw So filmmaking was the uh, medium that I chose. Okay. So do you have a website or anything out there that people do can check you out? My website is uh, rodholloman.com. That's R-O-D-H-O-L-L-I-M-O-N.com. The website will have my bio, all my film projects. Everything going on with Rod Holloman is right there on the website. When you say you make films and tell your stories, do you write stories also? Are you a writer? I am a writer. I'm a writer as well as a poet. I started out originally writing poetry, um, you know, when I was like 11 and 12. And really, you know, poetry was one of the first methods I used, but all of it is just really telling my story in different formats. And the filmmaking format is actually one that most people, uh, you know, they, they, they look at films and movies on a daily basis. So I feel like that's one of the methods that I can use to tell my story personally, as well as the stories of those who you know, I was inspired by. What's your favorite kind of films to make? Action, drama? I like, I like the dramas. I like the real life stories. You know, I like, you know, just kind of showing what everyday people go through. You know, just showing how people can go through things on a daily basis and still persevere and still overcome whatever life throws at you. How long have you been doing this film making for? Well, I've been in the in the entertainment business since 98, you know, for 10 years. I started out in television, you know, working at Turner Broadcasting in 1998. Started off as an intern, kind of worked my way up into the production and learned the ins and outs of all of it, you know. Um, so I've been everything from producer, writer, uh, you know, director, all that. I won an Emmy Award in 2002 while I was still at Turner under the corporate uh, side of television for a show that I helped produce at CBS called Interact Atlanta. Um, and it was a, a really good experience. And so what I've been able to do is take the corporate side of it as well as the independent side of it. You know, I started my own company in 2003 once I left Turner and uh, started working on my own independent films and documentaries. And I've been able to kind of see both sides of it, the corporate side of it as well as the independent, you know, entrepreneurial side of it. When, so, you, when you started off at um, Turner Productions, did you see yourself having your own company or was that the start of your inspiration that made you want to do, think, have your own company? I think when I started off working at Turner, uh -huh. I've always kind of had a vision of, of kind of having my own company in general. And I've been in business for a long time. I started out like everybody else, you know, selling candy, cutting grass in the neighborhood. So I've always been a, a business person to a certain degree. So when I got it, you know, when I, when I got the Turner, it was more so me being eager to learn as much as I could about the business, um, about broadcasting, about writing, about producing, um, and so it was really just the learning ground for everything. So I was able to kind of get in and work directly in the studio, work with talent, and just see how all of it works. So it was kind of like a television university for me. How do you go about getting actors and and writers and performers for your film? Well, for the independent films, you know, what I've done so far in Atlanta, we, we do casting calls. We, uh, you know, put out the ads on MySpace, on Craigslist. We actually do the flyers, do the promotions, and even commercials to just kind of, you know, tap into the local pool and talent that Atlanta has. Okay, so where do you see yourself, like, five years from now in this, um... Five years from now? Mm -hmm. Well, five years from now, I hope to have, um, completed a few more major films. I definitely want to have some films in the box office to kind of be on the national scale. 
And I want people to just know the name Rob Holloman and know that you know, I want to tell stories. And I want to be the kind of person or the kind of filmmaker uh, with the kind of integrity that will tell the story of real life people and not hold anything back. Okay. Well, bro, I want to ask you one question. And this is for uh, all the Atlanta audiences. Uh, are you married? Uh, I'm not married. Not married. Any kids? No kids. Atlanta, you heard it first here on Atlanta. Uh, independent scoop. This dude is single, so y'all better come get him. Dude, you ain't gonna be out there too much longer. But anyway, uh, we're gonna go to break for a few minutes. Again, I wanna let you guys know you need to come out to Machan's. Come on out here if you're doing. If you're not doing anything tonight, come on, hang out with me tonight here at Machan's at uh, 1155 Virginia Avenue in Hapeville, Georgia 30354. We're gonna take a break. I tell you. Man, we need to look good for this party in this DNK for spot, man. All right, we'll see. They got everything you need. Welcome to DNK, fellas. How can I help you? We need some suits, man. Suits? Follow me. 